That's harsh. Yeah. It's a good thing you capitalized that. You don't need uh, MCU memes coming around. <laughs> it's funny. I just, I, I just watched. I just watched Civil War the other day. And it was great. Really well. It was great. It was great. Tony Stank. That's all right. We actually, I actually have a great story about people messing up my name. Uh, you would think it'd be really easy to pronounce Z Fly because it's a four letter tag and one of them is a word. Uh, but people have actually messed it up before. The most common mistake is Z Flea, which I don't understand, but it happened. Anyways, forget about me. Let's jump into our first match of the night, named Fireball and Gao. Now, I'm pretty hyped to see this because we saw Gao go very far last week. Yes, um, we did. But I didn't really see any hero play. We saw a lot of his other characters, but very little to no hero. And starting off this this stream tonight with hero, that makes me excited. I, I'm a huge fan of, of hero play hero players in general and Gayo is no exception. Yeah, I think I think def definitely Hero is one of his best characters. I think his pit is probably really, really close. But of all three characters, I think between all the characters he uses, I think it's gonna be Pit and definitely Hero who are his two best characters. I think those are the characters he gets the most results with, but so far it's toxic though. We're gonna shut down Hero as soon as possible. I mean it's really good that he shows respect, but that last second he goes in for that dash attack of the leg, he's getting hit by the Nair in the look like backer. I'm sorry, with the buff in fact, that was costly. It, you know that back air, like getting hit with that back air, not only does it hurt, but it also gotta hurt your pride, because that has a lot of wind up. That is something that gets telegraphed fairly easily if you're watching Hero. Yeah. So it, not only did you get hit with like a wind up move in the air. It's and then it takes your stock like uh the aerial smash attack for sure. <laughs> Frame 13 baby. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Frame 13. Oh my <laughs> Goodbye. Yes, That's right, put him to sleep. <laughs> He's gone. Yeah, I'm hoping, you know, that this is just uh, really an illustration of what we're going to see later on in the bracketed as well, if, you know, Gao is able to overcome his opponent, then, you know, we'll get to see more hero play. But I'm actually not... I, I mean, I love, like, uh, combo characters too, so Greninja, you know, definitely fits that mold. It's funny, because we haven't even seen a lot of Greninjas, not only, like, in, in general online, but in this game, when I think of Greninjas, I'm only thinking of like the East Coast and Europe for some of the best Greninjas out there. But aside from that, there I can't think of that many Greninja players that I've ever seen that have come to note in mind, at least for me. I, I, I apologize if I forget the name of X Greninja who lives in Nebraska. You know, I'm sorry that you, but I usually see players like, oh, that was a really good explosion there. But that was, I usually see players like Ella Shao and Benny uh, and I study do really, really well with the character. But nonetheless, Gale will take the W. Uh, with a really great play, I mean, I'm looking at the chat, and they were saying um, <laughs> he was top decking a lot of his spells, and I think that's the one thing that Gale does really, really well, is he just knows how to take any spell and just run with it. No, you gotta, that's just like being able to make all the spells, like, utilize anything in your kit to your advantage. Um, but yeah, you know, we really haven't seen too many Greninjas. The one most notable Greninja I can think of is uh, Stroder. Which, yeah. You know, he's not just a Greninja though. He's got everything. I think, I think it's one of the few players that I've seen like slowly trying to move away from Greninja every now and then. And then he just dips his feet back in the water and everyone's like, yep, he is a Greninja man. <laughs> I mean, you really only need to upset X amount of players before everyone's like, yeah, he's got a Greninja. Just, you know, he's definitely counts for Greninja. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, directional air dodge is still able to make it back with fully charged for a B. That's a lot of mana eaten up by by Gao. Yeah, down to 20. Uh, from what I'm seeing on my screen here, down to 29, slowly climbing. Each time Hero does get a hit, though, the mana actually grows in speed, so it's really good for him to also like understand when he has to play a little bit more aggressive to get certain spells out, but also when to play a little bit more reserved. He's doing a really good job of just keeping Toxico a little bit away from the range. 
but that's the one thing that Greninja has is the speed to kind of close the range and a little bit more of a combo tools with dash attack to kind of like slowly just get in that burst damage. Double back air to put him off the seat. That was a really good uh, opportunity for an edge guard. It kind of left the Gale in a little bit of a sour spot. And that's, you know, that is one thing I'll mention that, you know, Hero does have a lot of tools, especially with the down B menu. Uh, and having access to zoom off stage, you still have to go off stage and challenge him. You can't let him recover for free. And I think that's where a lot of players are making the mistake of just allowing heroes to recover for free. Like we saw Name Fireball, well, while Gaio had a lot of control in game one, uh, Name Fireball is really started to push his own momentum and then challenging Gaio off stage. Yeah, you never want to like, give him too much of respect. Even though he can occasionally like get you in a really tough buy when he goes to the up special for a recovery, uh, in terms of the wind, you can you have to be able to tech it, of course. But like you said, don't give him that time or the opportunity. Even if he does go for zoom, you can actually still punish him. That's why we see some heroes actually off to save their jump, go for zoom, and they still have a jump after the zoom to try to avoid getting hit from the air. But really good stuff to talk about. Now turning things around, gets another back air. That back air is pretty strong. Sneaks in a shuriken, and he continues to put down these really good spots at the ledge. 130, and the, the down smash to actually take that. Yeah, the down smash caught the ledge, and it caught Gayo as well. Yeah, he did a really good job of just honestly just pressuring him off stage, but also knowing like, yo man, you retouch that ledge one more time, and you will lose a lot for it, and he's really quick to punish on that. Like I said, good burst damage from Greninja. Dash attack is usually the start of it, it's the combo starter when it comes to burst damage. But the one thing I like from Toxico too is he kind of mixes it up slowly with trying to approach in different matters. <laughs> that neutral air earlier though was a very, very overzealous, and it will be punished with an out of shield option. I would like to see uh, name Fireball land these forward, these approaching forward airs onto, onto Gale, because we see him like start the wind up starts to come out, but then he lands before the, the attack that he will. Sable actually connects with you, but yeah. run up F smash from Name Fireball. And look at that Gayo is caught off stage, getting caught by two water shurikens and challenging him. But what a reversal for Gayo! Yeah, and that's why I talked about earlier. Like, you have to be really scared of that reversal when it comes to here recovering with the other special because it can reversal you, especially into a tech situation. But if you're a very well skilled player, you know what DI you have to hold, you know when to time your actual tech in place. So you, you shouldn't be too scared, and, and uh, Toxic did a really good job just trying to demonstrate that. And he has to be careful with the down air, though. I mean, <laughs> trying to land on stage can be pretty, pretty difficult at times, especially against heroes who has that great amount of damage. And the buff, the back air, like you mentioned earlier, he swings that sword so wide that it's enough for him to just say, like, okay, I read the approach. That's right. Now, uh, after Gay was able to take the second stock, getting launched on the other side of the stage, Falling side B from from Hero is so broken. It's such a good move. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? And I like it too. It's a good spacing tool, good enough magic power, right? And you use not only that, the fact that you can go for a fully charged one as a mix-up. Uh, that definitely, definitely puts Hero in one of those spots where I just tell people he's definitely a high tier for sure. Good parry, and then immediately, that's actually, like, funny enough, he goes for the up special out of the parry because it's actually one of Hero's fastest running moves there. And it's actually one of the best I've seen that he has. And I can't believe that Gayo was actually able to overcome the deficit that Nate Fireball gave him and t able to take the set to zero. I'm telling you, man, this this kid.